So here's what we've gathered about the Apple Watch Ultra 3. It's not like Apple's completely reinventing the wheel this time around, but they've definitely added some neat tweaks. It's expected to stick with that rugged 49 millimeter titanium design we've seen on the Ultra 2, complete with water resistance up to 100 meters, a large digital crown, and that trusty customizable action button. Nothing too radical, but those subtle refinements should make it even more durable and comfortable for extended outdoor use. The display is another highlight. It's expected to continue delivering up to 3000 nits of brightness, which means you should have no trouble reading your stats even under direct sunlight. Plus, the always-on display is rumored to be even more energy efficient, automatically adjusting brightness based on your surroundings. Under the hood, the Ultra 3 is expected to be powered by Apple's new S10 chipset. While it might not feel like a huge leap from the Ultra 2, this new chip is expected to offer smoother performance and better energy efficiency, especially when paired with the new Watch OS 12 features. Speaking of software, there are some exciting upgrades on the horizon. With Watch OS 12, you're expected to see enhanced smart stack widgets, dynamic watch faces, and an improved Siri that's more context aware thanks to Apple intelligence. All of these updates should work together to provide a more intuitive and responsive experience. Now, here's where things get really interesting for health and connectivity. The Ultra 3 is expected to come with blood pressure monitoring, but don't expect clinical grade readings. Instead, it should alert you if your blood pressure trends toward unhealthy levels, much like how the sleep apnea detection feature works. And if that wasn't enough, it's also expected to introduce satellite texting. This means you could potentially send texts even when you're off the grid without needing any cellular or Wi-Fi connection. A game changer for outdoor enthusiasts. There's also talk about 5G connectivity through a cost-effective REDCap solution. While this won't deliver the full speed of standard 5G, it's expected to boost data efficiency and help extend battery life. Speaking of battery, the Ultra 3 is rumored to use the same capacity as its predecessor, giving you roughly 36 hours of moderate usage, and it should charge pretty fast too, reaching about 80% in an hour and fully charging in around 90 minutes. All in all, while the Apple Watch Ultra 3 isn't expected to reinvent the wheel, these incremental upgrades are aimed at enhancing connectivity, health tracking, and overall performance for those who really push their limits outdoors. Remember though, these details are all based on leaks and predictions, so we'll have to wait for the official announcement to see how spot on these expectations turn out to be. That's all for this video, thanks for watching, peace.